It is as good as everyone says that Nakhon Si Tamarat Province, known as the pure indulgent city, is considered the place that should not be missed. I am so lucky to have a great chance to work here. The story from now on is about this impressive place that I can't wait to tell all of you. Therefore, bright smiles and delightful faces are always in my photos. Take a look at these Phnom people as an example. Nakhon Si Tamarat Province has the coastal sea with the distance of 225 kilometers, the longest one in Thailand. There is also Nakhon Si Tamarat Mountain as a stunning background. Have a look at this example, Phnom District. There is a wide beach with finely white sand. The coastal side is not quite prone. Sea water is clean and clear raced with the mountain that extends into the sea. Another example is Quang Pao Beach, the place where you can see Samui Island. There is also the Ferry Pier that has been already shut down. The other three beaches are Hong Ching Beach, braced around by several mountains and coconut trees, Tong Puat and Tong Yi Beaches remaining peaceful and natural. Phnom is the smallest district located at the most north of the province and having Suratani province as a neighbor. It was once said that Chaya people kept the treasures with themselves in order to put them in Buddha's relics. However, the stupa, the place where the relics were kept, had been already built earlier Hence, Chaya people built another stupa made by the corals to put the treasures in. It is now at Tantatataram Temple. This journey will be ended by visiting Wang Tong Cave. In the cave, there is a huge hall with a space of 3,200 square meters. Furthermore, the shapes of stalagmites are similar to relic stupa. The goddess and the dinosaurs. Moreover, the weird thing in this cave is sugar apple rock popping up from the cave's ground. It especially exists only here. To sum up, Phnom District is worth visiting. You will be preciously and impressively given the beauty of both people and nature. <laughs>